Hello there, welcome back to my channel. So in today's uh, video, I am doing an update to my skincare project pan. So I have all of my products laid out and I am rolling out two items. So if you're interested in seeing uh, my progress and what I used up, then just keep on watching. So as always, I am going to start off with the things that I used up. And the first thing that I used up is this Neobe Detox oxygen light cream so, so this is a very lightweight uh, moisturizer i actually wasn't expecting to use up as much as i did but i guess um there was just some air in there that um you know kind of popped out eventually and yeah it just went faster than i thought i'm glad that i'm done with it because it wasn't my favorite moisturizer it was okay it was just a little bit too lightweight what i'll be replacing it with is this avant supreme hyaluronic acid anti-oxidizing dual moisturizer now you know how i usually say that i don't like avant products because they're just mediocre and you know they just they're just mediocre and very very expensive I actually quite enjoy this particular uh, moisturizer which I was surprised it is a lovely thick formula absolutely perfect for uh, nighttime it just creates the perfectly hydrating hydrated base and I have been really enjoying it now it's definitely not something that I would repurchase because of how ridiculously expensive it is but Finally, I found something from the brand that I actually enjoy. So yeah, I have been uh, really liking using this uh, moisturizer uh, at night. Now, I also managed uh, to use up my Glam Glow uh, Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Now, this was a no-brainer because I had so little left. I actually had two more uses out of it. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. It's not my favorite um mask but i'm glad that i was able to use it up eventually what i'll be rolling in is this dr botanicals pomegranate superfood regenerating cp mask i've already used one up before actually um it was fine it was grand i don't necessarily remember how i felt i just knew that it was okay now i received another one in one of my boxes so you know it's time to uh use it up now this is quite large because it is 30 mils so it is going to take a while to use up but i'm hoping within the next maybe three months this will be out but now uh, that is all that i had used up and these are all the products that i'll be replacing it with so let's just now talk about all the products that have decent progress uh, on them because all of these products have amazing progress i'm so proud of myself okay so the first uh, product that i would like to talk about is this kitchen be uh, beauty kitchen natural line lip uh, treatment i did some damage i have to admit i didn't think this is gonna go as fast as it is in all fairness um but i'm making my way through it you know i'm working on it slowly but surely i do think that maybe one two three four five maybe six months and this will be done which is fine uh, lip balms usually take that long to finish up so this would be no different and i quite enjoy it now it's not as nourishing and not as hydrating as i would want it to be but it's not bad so there you go. Uh, next up, super, super exciting progress is this Nail Berry Little Treasure um, Cuticle Oil. I am almost done with it. Can you believe it? I am almost done. <sighs> One more month and this will be out of my collection. Finally, it took so long. So, okay, let me count two three four five six seven eight nine if i'm finished next month it's gonna take 10 months to use up this teeny tiny bottle of uh cuticle oil now if i did if i wouldn't have found a way to use it you know some extra times it would have probably taken longer so i'm so happy that this will be out next month then for my uh, little perfume this is the mitchell and peach eau de perfume i've been making steady progress all month long so you know 
I'm almost halfway there almost so yeah there's no it's not that exciting as I would hoped it would be but you know slowly getting there uh, next up is my the soap room hydrating face serum now I mm, predict that within a month max two months I will be done with this particular uh, product and I will be kind of sad because I've been enjoying this uh, quite a lot to be honest um, yeah it's a it's a really nice oily sort of uh, serum I would personally call, call it an oil but you know <clears throat> it's been called a serum so you know let's let's stick with that I uh, really love it super good it is handmade homemade and it's just cruelty free all the good stuff so I've been loving that another thing that I think I will be done next month is this event pro radiance brightening eye final touch there was a lot of air in there so I finally got the air out and yeah this is I think where I am plus or minus I would say maybe less than that even uh, but yeah I don't have any positive or negative things to say about this it's just an eye cream that I use at night I don't necessarily see it doing anything major for me another thing that I will be used that I will use up uh, by the next update is this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleanser I only have this much left so not too much uh, I will be done with this within the next week I won't be rolling anything else in because in all fairness I have like little samples of um, cleansers that I want to use up before I even go ahead and repurchase um, a bigger uh, bottle so yeah you'll probably see a new kind of bottle of this or I think the Garnier aloe cleanser we'll see we'll see but you'll probably see either that or the Garnier uh, one next month then um let's talk about another avant product this is the velvet perfecting rose sugar lip scrub don't have much left but i don't anticipate it being done with it next uh, by the next update two more months i think now i already have a backup of a lip scrub i have one from silk Care, which i definitely prefer over this so i would not be repurchasing when i'm done plus it's a fan super expensive again this is just fine i don't think it exfoliates my lips as well as it could in all fairness something that will be here forever and ever this is the good molecules pineapple exfoliating uh, powder still a long way to go i'm making steady progress each month and you know i'm not mad that it's taken so long because i love this uh exfoliating powder i would forever forever repurchase it's so good and the last product is this neo bay uh, gentle facial toner this packaging is actually not see-through at all even when I hold it up to uh, the light I can't see and I can't see inside because the hole is so little so I can't even see inside how much I have left but I am guessing and estimating that I'm about here we'll see we'll see I'll know when it's finished so that's my only kind of uh, you know good thing about it that I'll know when I'm finished with it but that is it for uh, today's video. Uh, these are all of the products that um, I'm using in my PM skincare routine. And, you know, I do like to keep track of uh, what I use up and, you know, kind of, especially with like masks and eye creams and stuff like that. Because if it was just left up to me, I would just put on a moisturizer all over my face underneath my eyes and I'll be done. But I do have some, you know, backups of skincare because of my uh, of the boxes that I used to receive so I do want to work my way through them but yeah thanks to this project I'm able to do that but that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and I will see you in the next one bye Mwah.